right? Yeah. You probably know. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry, yeah, Henry. Yeah. Henry. Yeah. Henry. Is that you and me? Yeah, I had 30, yeah. About 30. Uh, I've had one pro fight, so I can't get that amateur. Yeah, so um, if I do, I'll have a pro fight. Maybe November 17th, on the Faro Georgia show. So I'm at the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My hometown. Yeah. We might get you to come uh, rip some fights for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you like it? Sweet. It's been around summer, though. Everywhere is good in summer. Alright, welcome to the Anzac Super Series 5, New Zealand versus Australia at the Auckland ABA on the 28th of July. With you today, Glad Rap Channel, Isaac Savage. Special guest today I've got, the lawyer, Josh Nika on my right, and famous ref, Ina Schuster. Welcome, hey, look, welcome aboard, everyone. Yeah, thanks for having us. What an action packed afternoon, evening it's been a fight so far, and you've been judge, uh, sorry, refing half the fights. How have you found the action up close and personal, Ina? Um, really good. Australians have really brought a like, really healthy competition for us Kiwis, and it's good to see some, um, yeah, really good competition. So there have been so, quite a few split decisions as well, which just shows that they are yeah. good quality fights. We were complimenting uh, Regan before on how well he's matched up uh, all the opponents. Oh, yeah. Uh, because, definitely. yeah, like we, we've had a lot of co hotly contested fights where there's no real mismatches. No, there hasn't. And um, I think tonight, Ooh. the next session, we have some big heavier weights, so that'll be something else to look forward to. Yeah. So up in the uh, red corner, we've got Clay Townsend from New Zealand mm -hmm. and Kane Tate from Queensland there in the blue. and. Like uh, Josh was alluding to earlier, we're, we're here up in the cheap seats, but we've still had a, a great afternoon of action-packed fights. I mean, every fight's just been awesome. Yeah, no, it's been great. These guys sort of slide, uh, starting off a bit of a, well, just so I say slide pace. <laughs> 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 no. you got the uh, blue corner fighting as a southpaw there. Yep. Uh, some, some pretty strong connections so far. No, it's been a great, great tournament. Great riffing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, great fighters, great riffing, great um, you know organisation in general. It all seems pretty uh, efficient. No real delays in between the fights. It's been I bang, bang, bang. Uh, I feel sorry for the for the judges. You know, so that's the I, people. Yeah. I mean, the riffing. Um, you haven't had too many uh, times where you had to jump in and stop no, things. So the no, it's been quite clean. That's right. So yeah, like you said, clean fights good for a riff, but. Um, yeah, close fights hard for a judge. That's so right, yeah. It's, yeah, I've had a look while I was timekeeping, and yeah, it's, the split decisions have been um, yeah, quite common tonight. Mm. Which is hard, I mean, we're up here commentating as best we can, but when they're down there, you know, a fighter's um, W's sort of resting on it, and mm. you yeah, can yeah. see that every single fight the judges are in this, and they have to be, because look at this fight here. This, this, this will be another one that's... Yeah, quite tough to judge. Um, but I would say, just from that blue corner, using his reach and his uh, yeah, speed and power quite well. You can't take the, blood, the Aussie and Southpaw, super aggressive, moving those angles. Yeah, angles, away. yeah. <laughs> um, I guess when it comes down to it, the judges do have criteria that they need to use. So um, as long as they're sticking to that, then um, can't really argue with them. Yeah, I, I think um, the man in blue is just edging it at this stage. Yeah, I don't agree with you there. What's that criteria, Ina? Are you able to learn into what things in particular they're looking for in terms of the judging and how they score each round? Yeah, sure. So there's three uh, main points. The first being the quantity and the quality of the blows. So that has to obviously land in the target area um, with the... Uh, have white on the gloves there but just on the rounded part of the knuckle part of the glove and um, the second point being competitiveness and the third being use of tactics and techniques so like you saw you know moving to the side angles use of different combinations um, yeah so those are the three criteria and the referee is solely in charge of any infringement of the rules 
so that's not taken into account of any of the judging. It's probably too uh, early, Josh. We saw um, somebody uh, hitting more so with the, you talked about the angle or the point of where the glove hits. They were hitting more so with the uh, wrist part or what that may have what it looked like from the ref. And they actually deducted a point that's for, right, for hitting so on the, the you know uh, hitting more so with the wrist. Yeah, so that's what we call slapping, hitting on the inside of the wrist. Uh, so yes, I did see the ref take a, a point off the boxer there. And just before we saw the referee uh, warn um, uh, the man in blue. For, for hitting with that exact part of the hand. Um, often it's quite hard to see exactly where the punch lands, but um, in general, if, if you're hitting with the wrist, then that's a, a slap. The referee can warn you and then take points off. That's right. So if you're getting a point deducted, then yeah, rightly so, because it is a foul. So we're looking for blows with the knuckle part of the glove. Um, back in the day, they, yeah, they had, um, uh, like you were saying, those big white uh, marks on the gloves yeah, the to, to help out the referee. Yeah, the circles yeah, to, yeah. to help referees and judges um, see what is and isn't a scoring blow. But Just as we uh, we say that, this Aussie's coming forward. He's just, he's slamming forward against the Kiwi. The Kiwi's sort of fighting back as he can when he can. But uh, yeah, I'm seeing this this Aussie come forward as the aggressor in this fight. Certainly not. Well, from what I see, he's landing punches relatively cleanly. He's also getting his head on some pretty awkward angles. Sometimes a little bit low, but um, yeah, no, it certainly looks like he's quite hard to hard to hit for the for the man in red. Straight right, uh, straight left there from the southpaw man, Kane Tate. Down the pipe. Hey, diddle diddle. Kane down the middle. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to adopt that nickname. <laughs> he, might, he might do after that. There you go. Kane Tate again. from uh, Queensland, Australia. Yeah. What an aggressive southpaw. You know, we've seen a couple of southpaws come up tonight and make it quite a bit harder for the, the orthodox fighters. Ooh. Look at that looping <laughs> yeah. uppercut there. Looping Not right. Didn't land flush, but um, it looked cool. And it'd um, be hard to not like give him style points for that as a judge. And the body work. Body so those shots, boys yeah. are definitely a bit of slapping. Yeah. It's worn by the ref. They might not have all been slapping, but um, enough to, to get a warning from the referee. What an aggressive display yeah. there too. Just He's know, bringing, coming forward. Bringing heat now. And especially showing some body shots. Yeah. Another technique used there. This yes. one might actually won't be too hard for the judges in that sense, would it? I mean, uh, we're seeing a pretty dominant display from the Aussie. That's right. I think the Blues just playing away with the fight for now. So you got the judging there, 10-9 being a close round, uh, and a 10-8 where you've got a clear winner sort of dominating the We've round. We've seen a few splits and majority decisions tonight, and that just once again shows how close these fights have been, um, how well matched they are. You know, the split being uh, one judge thinks the other guy won two in favour of the other. The majority, though. Um, how do we explain the majority so of those watching back home? They've actually changed the rules again to splits, either one against four or two against three. Okay. So I think majority is just so ingrained in the uh, yes. yep. boxing yep. talk. And I think they still use it, I'm not sure, for pros maybe? Majority decision? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, my understanding is uh, majority decision is, um, so it's not split. So you, you haven't got one judge saying that one person won. You've got one judge saying it's a draw and the other one saying that um, one, one fighter won. So it could be like 2-0, not 2-1. 2-1 yeah. is split, 2-0 is majority. Okay. Um, yes. so that's my understanding. Yeah, I think it is right. For I'm glad uh, images, someone explained yeah, that one. It's all split or yeah. unanimous. Images seem to change a bit more, right? They often. Yeah. yeah. They've got the Iber rules. Um, so Iber can kind of change um, the way things are going in amateurs, but um, professional seems to not change quite as much. Yeah, quite constant, yeah. Yeah. Second clap up, third and final, the money round. Look, I'm, uh, uh, it pains me to say it, but the Aussie is, is coming forward. The crowd's in his favour. He's certainly you know, up on points and miles in this fight so far, but we'll see what happens in the third and finale. Yeah. It's been interesting. Red really has to go forward. Clay yeah. Townsend from Wellington, New Zealand, and Kane Tate there in the blue from Queensland, Australia. Kane Tate being the Southpaw, and certainly an aggressive Southpaw. What's the tally at, at the, like between Kiwis and the Aussies at the moment? 
I have been, but the, the most accurate score will be from uh, Kendall, who I'll have to source very, very soon. So far, uh, New Zealand is... I think it's actually even. I'll have yeah. to do a final tally after this one because uh, the, ki- the Aussies have been coming through in the last couple of fights. Yeah, I mean, like, we were just ahead before, and then um, just recently we've had a couple of, you know, a bit of an Australian spree. They've gone bang, bang, bang and caught up with us. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see um, in the next two fights how it all pans out and to see who's up because uh, starting to lose count now with these Aussies going forward, so it's going to be quite close. Nice Down the pipe strength. again. Big uppercut there yeah. from Kane Tate there at the South Pole in the blue. Again, because um, uh, the man from New Zealand was lifting his head up at the same time and made the uppercut look even better. I think just to guard against uh, Blue's straight left, he really has to keep his Oy. right hand up. Good shot there from the yeah. Kiwi. Oh, yeah. Good left from the Kiwi. It's a nice exchange of blows there. Both these boys a game, you know. They, yeah. uh, even though the, the Kiwi is getting tagged, it doesn't seem to really phase him. He's coming forward. Another one down the middle. Yeah. So that's what you see when the referee decides he's seen a heavy enough shot. That's good. They're both really bringing it, these two boys. So. Yeah. So for those watching those standing eight counts, um, the idea is to, to give the person who's been hit with a big shot um, a few seconds to recover. That's right, and no points are deducted in amateur rules, so it's just counted as another blow. And it's obviously it would uh, strongly suggest that um, the fighter that gets the standing eight count on someone else is winning. Um, so it's not definite um, that the person who gets the eight count on them uh, wins, but it's, it suggests it. That's correct. Totally different than the pro ranks, though. If you get an eight count, definitely Instinct in favour, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Ooh, <laughs> big yeah. uppercut there. Big uppercut. Painful to even watch big something uppercut. like yeah. that. Yeah. Blue's had his uh, head quite low there. He'll get warned for that. There you go. Blue certainly uh, foot on the gas coming forward, bringing it to the Kiwi boy, Clay Townsend. Ten-second clapper now. Who's going to go for it? Good fight. Yeah, you have it. Fight. You'd have to think it's going fight. to Kane Tate, but um, you know we've we've seen worse decisions than uh, Clay Townsend getting it here. <laughs> but no, no. Um, most the, likely you'll see the Australian you can come see away it. with a big W. Asher Dubbershire there in the corner there of uh, Kiwi boy Clay Townsend. That's right. He's a pro boxer in the New Zealand scene. Who's that, Asher? Who's the pro fighter? Uh, Asha Dubshaw yeah, there yeah, in yeah. the uh, red. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He was in the eight man, wasn't he? He was in some kind of Super 8, I think, at one point. We a while back now. We're going back a few years, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, 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 yeah. We go for the judge's official decision. There you have it. Sure enough. As predicted, uh, the, the Aussie came forward, and I'm uh, looking at these results now. This, this tally, I think it's almost evened up in a sense, but we'll have to get this final score in the, over the next two fights. 